Hello and welcome to another Brit Rest special. We have a very special returning guest. When we last spoke to him, he was a young boy coming out of ICW breaking out. Since we last spoke, he has spread his wings across the UK. Hammerlock Wrestling, Soft Pro Wrestling, Discovery Wrestling, Wrestle Carnival, and so many more. He is kick-ass. He is the professional. He is the British psychopath. Ian Skinner, how are we doing, Ian? How are we doing? Oh hell yeah! I've I've uh, accumulated so many nicknames. It's great. Um, I'm glad. No, I'm I'm good. It's very good to chat. I was, again, I was just talking about how um it's mental the year and the time that we've had since the last time we spoke mm. in August last year. Um, what a different world uh, it is for me. I guess is that yeah, I guess that's mm. a yeah thing I can say. Um, because last time we spoke, I don't even think I was wrestling in front of fans, and now I wrestled in front of fans and in front of many different fans and many different faces. Um, so I'm very excited to catch up because it, it feels like a lot's happened in the last you know uh, months, uh, 12, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, just That's over it. a year. I, I, you know what? I did not realize it's been over a year since we've had you on. I guess it's because you know we do chat quite regularly anyway, and you are such an uh, an awesome supporter of our channel, and uh, well, we of course are always supporting yourself over on ICW Wrestle Carnival. We're so uh, you know happy to see some of the matches that you've got to have because you know we spoke about facing the likes of Chris Ridgeway. In particular, in a pure rules match, again, something you really wanted since yeah. you heard that Wrestle Carnival were doing them. And, you know, Soft Pro Wrestling, what a debut for Soft Pro, what a debut show. You literally put your mark down. I love the music they did for you. Me it's okay, that, that that is, I don't know, are we going to talk about Soft Pro in more in depth? Because, like, the music... That is a whole fucking asterisk that I want to, like, I need to, like, tangent on that. Um, so if we're going to talk about it now, I can talk about it now. But if we're going to talk about Let's talk about, talk about it, that music. That 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 song was absolutely brilliant. I think out of all the songs that they really did, and um, mm. uh, there was Kim Bandit and yours. And yours was probably the one that I thought, that really, really suits him. And... Uh, <laughs> Let me just quickly just uh, I've got a little Coke to drink. You absolutely styled it down the uh, walkway as well. You uh, you hand it up something proper. And uh... what can I say? I was just vibing. I was just <laughs> vibing. That's like this. Like the song, I feel that with that song, it's got that. I don't know. I don't know if it, you get this, but it's got that big show esque quality in which you think the big show sings his own song. You think. Shawn Michael sings his own song. Mm. I this like this song has that. You think that I sing it, uh, and it's it's very special to me that the the person who does sing rap over it, a guy called Elliot Stradling. One, check him out on Spotify. He's fucking amazing. Love his music, but he is a, he's a friend of mine, personal friend of mine from up north in mm. in Scotland. Um, we were like mates in high school, and we were even in a band together. So I literally I've loved his like because he went off to study music and like he's he's in a like he's in a band called The Rarely Social and has his own solo rap project, and it was the point in which I went to see him live and I'm like, you know what, I I need you to rap over this track. Sure, he's given me a track. I I need your voice on this, and when he sent me that first draft, I was I was I was blown away, honestly because I heard it and I'm like this is it this is it like i didn't even i didn't write him lyrics he wrote his own lyrics i was like cool i just need you here's a couple pointers i want to get over write it like you are me stunting on these hoes and it it just it works and i i love it There's and it's really I, I... cheeky about that rap and the way he he raps those lyrics and it's, it it suits you down to a t and especially you in soft pro because they've been so good at social media, uh, Shoihara, yeah. uh, the entire team there, you know, from the media guy, they all do their job so well. And the way they built every match from, you know, 
from the beginning and just dropping little hints and then videos and video packages, Simon Miller doing his ups and downs, you getting to respond to this. It was it was a lot of fun and it, I think it really helped uh, push that match in particular as well. You and Bandit, absolutely. I, I said uh, when I did my review of it, I was like, the whole match was fun, it's your typical scramble but when you and bandit got down to it and were able to just unleash in a sort of like one on one period the both of you mesh so well and it's just such an awesome little kick ass kicking the crap out of yeah. each other yeah <laughs> um I, I think that's it's part of the kind of like well, at least like you know getting to you know get to that point in the match and just kind of like at this point, we want to tell the story of not only like, like Bandit, Bandit's Bandit at the end of the day, but Ian Skinner, or at least Ian Skinner at Soft Pro, is kind of different-ish to the Ian Skinner you see elsewhere because Ian Skinner elsewhere has a lot of wrestling focus. He's like mm. a British psycho or he's this pure rules, indie, slappy, submission-y guy. So coming in with the, the character, I'm, I'm this is kind of like you can cut this, this is a promo. I'm like probably the most charismatic person in Soft Pro on the roster entirely, but not only just charismatic, but like you, you've got Stephanie Stone, you've got Simon Miller, you've got Kid Bandit. If they had fifty percent as much charisma as I did, their <laughs> star would be a lot brighter. Think, look at look, and the, there the, was a guy that we recently the, had on our show, right? And he's got a but ton of charisma. His name no. is Smashing Mike. Listen, listen. Uh, Smashing, really... Mike. Smashing Mike starts talking about energy, but pure energy, Ian Skinner, has been around for a long, long time. He can keep riding my coattails. I'll beat him up in front of his dad, and I'll be like, cool, I'm your son now. Smashing Mike's dad, I am your son. You're now Ian Skinner's dad. That's what's going to happen. But he I, I, I did so. I did... I did so much promotion for that Crown Cup match. And to walk away with second place, it does leave a sour note. However, I do still hold two victories. That is one more victory than Kid Bandit holds in Soft Pro. That's one more, that's more victories than anyone else on that show that night. I'm the and, only person and in Soft you Pro. And you also did commentary. I mean, you did commentary exactly. during the match. You, you, you book a if, if you If you... If you remember, if you remember back to the original interview, I, I I say it all the time. I don't know if I said it word for word, but I say that I am a man with my fingers in many pies. I showed that. I demonstrated that. I demonstrated that I could be swaggy with my cropped up. I demonstrated I could talk. I demonstrated I could run. I demonstrated that I could talk even more. I demonstrated that I could wrestle the ass out of anyone. Wait, okay. I, I don't know about that phrasing. <laughs> I'm gonna let it slide just now, but we can come back to that maybe. Freezing, <laughs> freezing. But uh, what was it like working with Shotty and the guys? Then, because as I say, from what we see, they seem to be working so hard behind the scenes. They seem to be looking to be professional, mm -hmm. and uh, you see it from the websites, code of conducts, all easy to see everyone every one of the wrestlers is up on there they've done so much to just build a brand yet they've only one done one show yeah for for a company that this is their first wrestling wrestling show a mm. as much as they've like you know premier battles is like it's a beast within itself a wrestling show is a beast within itself it's not theater mm. it's not stand up it's not a gig it's everything combined into one. And the fact that they were able to put that all together first time and people are walking away, people backstage and people, fans, are walking away going, that show was amazing. And the only thing that they say is, it went on a bit late. But <laughs> people say it went on a bit late, but they were still there till that final bell because the show speaks for itself. The quality is there. The whole team... Bar Cali, Lewisian, the whole team have so much heart that they dedicate to that show. Um, rather than Lou, who just looks on Twitter and decides to reply to any tweet I put out there. 
Hey, leave Lou alone, all right? Lou's a good guy. I, I, I chat to Lou quite regularly. I, I, do, I don't send for Lou. Lou. I don't send for Lou. Lou sends for me. Come on. Like, let me just live my life. <laughs> uh, Zuby seems to like you, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, if he can stop wearing the bandit t-shirt, that's perfectly fine. Uh, Zuby, man, yeah, respect to Zuby. Uh, like he was one of the first people to like, eat, well, not one of the first people to buy my merch. But when I set up my big t- cartel store, he's literally like, "Oh yeah, hook me up with one of the t-shirts." And yeah, on honestly, um, the, the the whole soft pro team uh, are amazing. Uh, to be able to juggle so much and to put on a product like that, I remember being backstage in the gorilla position. Looking at the show and looking at the entrances, going the the vibe this has, it's got that PWG IWA Mid South Deadlock Pro kind of. It's got that American indie feel, mm. and it, it it's unlike any other show I've been on. Uh, straight up, um, I cannot wait for the next show. Um, we'll see who I have uh, <laughs> at the next show, but uh, yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty the, sure I'm going to be seeing you smash your mic one on one, and uh, it's 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 a contest that I'm a hundred percent here for definitely. Why I beat him? I beat him already. Well, you know, it was a multi man match. You got to you got to prove it one on one with the smashing one. Easy. The... I'll just I'll just I'll just schoolboy him. Schoolboy him, then, then go get your Nando's. fish bash bosh. Yeah, fish bash bosh. Go to Nando's, get some more cream. Even though I'm lactose intolerant, you know. That was a great promo, by the way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, this is like this is, you know, breaking the illusion, breaking. This was literally shot. He said, "Hey, can you do a promo? I want you to like, you know, build to this match." I was like, I was in Nando's at the time. I'm like, "Hey, take my phone. <laughs> One take, did it. Send it off. Like right that right that moment, I gave Shorty a promo within ten to fifteen minutes." I'm Watched it back a couple times. It. Just go. Is it is it weird? Is what I said at the end too weird or just weird enough? I tell you what. There's another guy that's going to be on the show. There's a match lined up for that uh, February show that I think uh, is just going to blow people's mind. And I'd love to see you get a chance against him at some point. Endercara. Endercara. Oh yes, we just said it at the same time. Jinx, you owe me a coke. Diet one. <laughs> No, you can, listen. I've got too many as it is. I don't drink them. I don't drink them. I don't like it. It tastes like piss water. However, however, no Coke Zero, fine, happy with it. I just have it. It's an object to me. Um, but yeah, Endakara, what a what a dude. Honestly, like he's been on the radar for a while, uh, especially like seeing his match with Akira versus my match with Akira. Mm. Um. Yeah, incredible. What a fast guy. Um, so speedy, I'm sure that we would mesh like like glue and butter, um, which is a tasty but sticky mix. Um I'm I'd be excited to mix it up and I'm very excited to meet him backstage because we've you know, we've chatted um like you know, in the lead up to big matches, big shows, you know. Uh, he applied for Pro Lesson Noah. I was like, Hey man, good luck to you when he was doing that as well. Um, so yeah, very excited not only to see that match against Leon Slater. Oh shit. Um that's gonna be and, a nuts yeah. match, really. The those two guys. Leon's had uh unprecedented rise. <laughs> just he is For sure. broken out onto the scene. GCW just last weekend, and uh, I think he's now booked for the New Year show as well. Yeah. Over so oh, he's going back to GCW. So man, that, that's crazy, but the match in JCW as well with uh, Nick Wayne, Alec Price, uh, not Blake Christian, there was no, Nick Wayne, Alec Price, Jordan Oliver, like so much talent in that one like eight man elimination match. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I don't reckon, I think it's free out on YouTube. Go watch it. JCW, uh, Leon Slater's debut. Awesome, awesome, awesome match. And I guess if we want to transition and like tangent onto another thing that's happened in the last 14 to 16 months, potentially patent pending creation pro wrestling is where the first time I met Leon Slater in the flesh in a multi-man jumpers as ring 
post jumpers for ring post match. Yeah. yeah, I love the uh the idea behind this. Brendan White usually the captain because he keeps winning, even though the fact that he hates of course this he match. <laughs> but coach uh, Brendan White. Yeah, you guys had you meshed so well with him, didn't you? Yeah, no, he's he's great. I love messaging him. He he doesn't have the time to message me back sometimes, but you no, know, Coach Brendan, I'm always sending him match footage. Uh, in five second snippets, just so that he can like condense it. Um, excellent man. Um, he's killing it as well. Um, he's the all Wales champion. Um, no better man to represent Wales than Coach Brendan because I don't like the Welsh. The language it sounds like curses and spells. Um, have you gone down to New Wave yet to uh, to go have a session with him down in his uh, uh not yet. Set? He's he's uh he's very proud of what he's done with New Wave. Oh, for sure. I, like it is definitely on the on my list of things to do. Like within the next twelve months coming up. Um. However, the travel is yeah. <laughs> and like, to Cardiff. Uh, yeah. Um. But we'll we'll see. We'll see what the future holds because oh, like yeah, the travel. Like travel down to the show that first time. Oh, jeez. And then the travel back up the next day with rail strikes and everything. Ah, oh. I was gonna. Did you take the train? Oh, I was gonna say, did you travel down with anyone? I uh, I got. Uh, we traveled down with Daisy Jenkins. Uh, she was just down at the at the same time uh, as well. She does a couple sessions down at New Wave as well. She, oh, she's she's been killing it. Speaking of people who like a big twenty twenty three coming up, Daisy Jenkins, respect. Mm. Like, keep an eye on that. Um. But I traveled down with her, but uh, she was just staying over like on the weekend, and I just traveled back up, uh, and I got to meet Billy Hayes's kitten, which is sick. <laughs> Shout out to Billy Hayes, such an awesome dude. Yeah, for sure. He- here's the thing, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up the list now because Billy Hayes is on the list. My little black book of my 22 for 2022. Now, for all intents and purposes, Billy was in. The jumpers as rings post match. Does that mean he gets a tick off the list? No. He gets a tick next to his name, but he's not crossed off the list. It has to be one on one. Yes. Because unless we got we got some tag teams, the young guns like Cost Jim, Kings of the North. Um okay. I'm gonna take a guess at some of the names that might be on this list. Okay, sure. Michael Oku. Yes. Connor Mills? Mills, no. Uh, oh, that's fine. I, I mean, it definitely, definitely an exciting match, but I could only condense 22 names onto the list. Now, I know Chris Ridgway was on there because we, we discussed that earlier, of course. Ticked uh, off, yes. Let's think. Uh, uh, Jason Joshua. Jason Joshua? No. Uh, uh, wait, when you say David. Jason Joshua, do you mean... You mean Jay Joshua? Or Jason Jay Joshua, Joshua, sorry, Jay Joshua, yeah, and not or not Joshua James, <laughs> not Joshua James, no, no. Listen, no. okay, no. I've, the I've, big to- one. I've told you about. <laughs> no, I've, I've told, big. I've told, I've told you about my kind of like the Ian Skinner big birthday bash bonanza, right. just like me wanting to book it an absolutely wild show. I want to book a match that is like a triple threat, two falls to a finish match that is Jay Joshua, Jason Joshua, and Joshua James. Where the, the stipulation is per fall in the match, you get your name back. So first person to two falls keeps their name. I think there's only one place where that match can take place. And it is Creation Pro Wrestling. For sure. Or the Ian's going to Big Birthday Bash Bonanza. Probably. That's yeah. not a promotion, but it's just a one-off event. That may happen or may not. I don't know. It's very high maintenance. I need a lot of soup. Uh, some barbed wire, some C4, uh, and I also need a, a, a ring that we can put on wheels because the start of it is me coming out in like a like a wee wheelie winky cap, and like the little like so, so I look like a kind of guy who goes like he sleeps like me, 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 me. I want to look like that right dressing gown little candlestick <laughs> as I walk to a bed on stage and go wow I hope all that cheese I ate later uh, ate earlier doesn't catch up on me and I have really weird dreams. Blow out the candle, get into bed. The bed gets moved off stage. 
the ring comes in stage and then the show happens. And that's right. The show happened in my dream. There you go. I think uh, you need a you need a big ass theater for that. I think I need a bit. I need a big ass theater, a lot of money, uh, <laughs> and, and a, uh, a, a and lot people... of close friends. You've got a lot of cool yeah. friends, though. I, I'm a cool guy with lots of friends. So and for and I've been told I'm part of close personal friends by like an unofficial, you know, in an unofficial sense. Uh, Danny Black's so... got to be on your list. Oh yeah, he is for yeah. sure. Danny Black. Uh... Yeah. Who else? Uh, well, I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for all of them then. Joe Lando, Callum Newman, just Danny Black, just Danny Black. Uh, man like Doris. Yeah. Matt, no M- MLD for sure. Like that once, yeah, that should happen. But Kid Lycos, Lycos Jim, I've got as a tag Lycos team. As a tag team, because it'd be good for me, me and Char- Charlie to have a tag against Lycos Jim would be very fun. Uh. But also, it's a bit of a cheat because I think I'd like to have a match with Lycos and Lycos too. Ethan Allen. Young Guns. I've got Young Guns as a tag as well. Uh, we mentioned, two, I'll, I'll mention it like D- yeah. Dreisker. Dreisker's on there. Ewan Simmons is on there. Yeah, I don't, we we, we, don't, need, we don't need to. For you. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, it'd be fun. It'd be fun. It'd be fun. He can do like a, a Batista and like a bum, 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 bum. I'll go from top to middle because like there's 22 names on this and I don't know how many names there are on wrestling, but it yeah. could be a long evening yeah. <laughs> uh, and a long pop- podcast. And I think unless people want to like tune in in a Joe Rogan esque fashion where we just go for three hours, um, I don't think that people would uh, appreciate that. Um, they might. If they no, want, want three hours, it. you're in yeah, three hours enough. of <laughs> three hours of Ian Skinner talking. It's like a that's like an ASMR channel waiting to happen. Um, Lee Moriarty is the number one because it's kind of like it's unattainable, but goddamn, that'd be a sick match. Uh, Ridgeway was next. Uh, Michael V. OJ M. O. Um, I'm also on his list, so I'm waiting for that Ooh, to happen. Right. I was on his list for 2022, didn't happen. Don't know why. Um, yeah, speedball. Oh, speedball, Speed, yeah. Speedball, of course. A kid, but now A kid doesn't exist anymore. Um, but... no, don't don't get me started on that. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I like the I like the superhero thing, you know. Uh, Martin Kirby. Oh wow! We were, yes, we were in close proximity to each other. I, I'm not sure how that's not happened. Young Guns, Robert X. Um. LJ Cleary. Cool. Um his best Shreddy. Yeah. Shreddy, yeah. Good up, good old big man. Uh, uh Billy Hayes, Lycos Jim. Mark True. Very fun. That'd be great. Ooh, Kung Fu. Very Mark excited True. to see uh very excited to see what he does in Wrestle Carnival in January. Well, he is a Power Ranger, so uh I'm pretty sure he's going to uh win that tournament. Uh Dean or Mark. Why not? Always no, one no of explana- the best in the business. No explanation. Yeah. Yearn, Dreisker, Gene Money. Again, we're in close proximity to each other. Yeah. I guess we're can, just we're get just that, get that done at Discovery. For sure. Daniel Mr. Black. Uh Daz Black's brother. Yep. That's my head cannon. <laughs> um Angry Curtis Chapman. Uh Kings of the North. Um that wouldn't be fun, but it'd be fun. <laughs> Emeritus. I th- I, oh, yeah, you know, he was like, brilliant in uh, the, the Progress uh, Super Strong Style 16 weekend. Yeah, for sure. I'm mean, like, what, what, why is he, you know, why is he not doing, why is he not doing more? He's, yeah, where is Emeritus he? Is, is he CMML? Yeah, uh, no, he's, uh, he's European. Is he? Oh. Yeah, he, he's the guy who's got the ghost gimmick. He comes out to square hammer. Oh, yeah. No, no. Yeah, I know. Uh, body slam guy. So, yes. Yeah. Come on. Scandy Graps. You should know Scandy this. Graps. I should, I should have known yeah. that. Sorry. Yeah. And then Scotty Rock. Scotty Rock. Good lad. Well, his thing. He can, he can never hit his finish on me because, <laughs> oh, you're going to do the Tommy End kick? Well, how about I 
Duck. Ooh, you've been called out, Mr. Orc. You've been called out. Get on that. Um, Every single one that didn't face him this year, you're all cowards. I'm just yeah, saying. Ex- exactly. Billy Hayes, saying. potentially. Yeah, all of you. And uh, there's plenty of places those matches can definitely happen in 20. Uh, you just say you, you spread your rings across the UK. You've gone into Ireland, and we'll talk about that. Now, if you could have, let's say... A three month run with Pro Wrestling Noah, WXW, or GCW. Where are you going? Noah, Noah, without what? Like the Noah Juniors, like it's it's an entirely like it's it's a crazy division, especially right now with like the like junior heavyweight champion being Dante Leon, you know Ninja Mac. I feel like I I'd be as much as like they've got the you know the standout kind of like strong. You know, strong style, I guess, is like the word to use for it. But then you've got Ninja Mac and Dante Lillian to bring that, like, that high, high spot style. There's no one out there right now, other than Jack, doing the British style. Mm. I, I bet you like were that's... on the phone to Jack every day. Have you told him about me yet? Have you told him I about mean... me? <laughs> <laughs> no, for, for sure. No, honestly, I watched Jack's entire N1 victory run and it, it, it's. It's crazy. It's like literally just like seeing a picture of him and Musa, and I'm like, <laughs> what the, the f- uh, yeah. I found this on the web. So it, yeah, it's wild. Um, <clears throat> words can't describe, you know, just how you know happy I am for Jack, and I, you know, m- look at him, look at him. Of course, he's gonna like succeed out there. Yes. Like he's gonna be. He's a handsome yeah. dude. He is. I'm not gonna lie. It, He's a long flowing so hair. R- Get him on a L'Oreal advert. <laughs> and and also really good at football. He you know he beat yeah. Kiyomiya. That's a great <laughs> video. I love it. Uh, he, he especially almost... with Kiyomiya losing and going, give me one more chance. <laughs> they had if a great I lose, as well. If I lose, hundred push-ups. <laughs> but you know he didn't uh, that... realize jack morris was a junior professional and uh you, you don't mess around with junior professional yeah. footballers jack morris beat the current noah ghc heavyweight champion in his first match in mm. pro wrestling noah made his mark straight away he got the crowd behind him it's had so many great matches throughout his run uh then chris ridgeway of course uh winning the junior Tag belts and he's killing it. His match with it against uh, Nakajima, wow, just mental, mental. And you got to face him. He was your one guy for twenty twenty two, and you got to face him in a pure rules match against something you did say you'd want to do uh, when we last yeah. had you on. So, what's it like uh, wrestling Chris Ridgeway? Did it hurt? Oh yeah, yeah, of course it hurt. But God, I was I was crying my eyes out at the end of it. I I loved it. I think you see it on the video, literally. Like I'm like I was just like trying to hold it in in the ring. I'm like, oh, that was really fun. That was really good. Oh God, I I mean I've got dropped on my neck like three times on the way, you know, towards the finish. Like so, it wasn't fun, but God damn, it was fun. And yeah, yeah. and yeah, I look back on that match. Uh, so many times because it's just it's unreal and then there's so much I learned in there and then like being able to like pick his brain afterwards yeah it was incredible I'd love to do it again but I feel I need to be I need to be stronger I need to be faster I need to be wiser next time um so I hope you know you'll see the next level of Ian Skinner next time he faces uh Chris Ridgeway He's he's got a few years on you. That that that's all it is. Next time, next time, as you say, you'll 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 be you'll get him next time. I'm sure of it. You also got to face Francesco Akira, a match that you really really wanted to have. Uh, You were when 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 he was first announced. Like I was like, and then I got I got the picture. I got the I got the picture sent to me, and I I lost my I lost my shit. If I'm being honest. Uh, first, in like his ICW debut, um, yeah, incredible, um, amazing match, and to was see what he's gone on man? to do, 
Uh, yeah, in front of fans as well. Amazing. Um, yeah, I again, for this one, I, I'm kind of speechless in regards to it. It was... Yeah, it was very special to know that I'm kind of like in that position. Like, they're like, cool, Francesco Akira is coming in. Like, there's only one guy. Obviously, Daz Black to put him against, but there's only there's one guy. If we're going to not put this guy in blind, it needs to be Ian. So, you know, being able to get that match, it's wild. And again, I learned, I learned so much from this match with Akira as well. Uh, and I watch it on the regular just to kind of like go over game plan tactics. Like, what, what can I pull away from this match. Um yeah, it's 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 something else. Uh and it's weird like again, he, he's gone on to become the New Japan junior heavyweight champion. Junior tag champ. Um alongside so, TJP of all people. So uh yeah. it, it's 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 a weird weird it's a weird year I've had. <laughs> um like Francesco Akira, then technically like facing Jack, who's in Noah now, uh, Haskins in like like Ridgeway, like yeah, it's been it's unfounded. If you told me kind of like at the time when we were doing my interview, if you told me that that was going to be my year, I I wouldn't laugh in your face. Okay, let's go. This uh, one person from GCW to face GCW. Ah. Uh... See, like uh, obviously the the go tos are like the, like the top stars. You want to face your Effies. You want to face your like Gages Moxley. I don't think my style vibes with that style. I think me and Effie would be a fun match, but I feel like the one match that I want to have would be Cole Radrick. Show like, me how I to say, do that one inch punch properly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, as well like uh, Tony Deppen, but I feel like me and Tony Deppen are kind of like maybe like two sides of one coin. Um, where I feel that like we'd just be like the Spider Man meme for the entire time. Um, yeah, there's a lot of fun talent in GTW. That'd be brilliant. One guy uh, from WXW. WXW. It's got to be got to be Big Yearn. <laughs> yeah, Big Yearn. He'll throw you around. Oh, oh my... <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. Like I had a match with Andy Wild. I found my way to like ground him down. True. Like, no one's true. too big for me. Either that or like, you know, like MAGA or like Bobby Guns. Obviously, they're kind of like, you know, mm. like some of the kind of like upper echelon talent. But like, for like me and Yearn, like, we, Yearn kind of like opened a lot of doors for me, not physically, but like from like a networking standpoint. And then I found like, you know, if I, if it hadn't been for Yearn inviting me onto his dating show, like the first traffic extravaganza, yeah. I wouldn't have met people like Amira. Amira, whatever her surname is nowadays. <laughs> um, like, I wouldn't have met, I wouldn't have gone down to Red Pro to train. I wouldn't have, like, gone to Perfect Wrestling. I wouldn't, yeah. There's so many people that I've met from kind of, like, doing a funny little Twitch show that it, like, it spurned off. And I feel like that is kind of, like, that set up. The year that I had in 2022 was all set up by that. Uh, another one you got to Hammerlock returning to the UK, returning to the scene. You got to be involved in that debut match, huge fatal four way. What was that match like? Oh, it was great. I loved it. Came away with a win. A class, uh, an Ian Skinner classic. Guess what? I can't wait to watch the VOD because I'm, I'm not even going to tell you the finish. But just like, hey, how is Ian Skinner going to win a match? Think about it. And it happens. I oh, you're saying DDT? How about your DDTZ's nuts? Boom, roasted. Boom, 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 boom. I've got the, I've got the Glock. The Glock. It's a multi fire. I, I can just pull the trigger. I remember. I, said, fun. I told you I, we had the interview coming. You said, I said, I'll bring up my name, but I didn't even have to bring up your name because he was already on your radar. Right, you were already on his radar. I said, who's on your radar? And when, almost the first name out of his mouth was Ian Skinner. Right. Yeah. That I, I, my ass fell out of me. I, I think by that point, I don't know if I'd already been DM'd by that point, but yeah, it, it was just the wildest experience hearing that as well. Like, cause when I first maybe got DM'd, it was like, ah, uh, maybe are you available? We can work out the logistics. 
And then like, who are you interested in working with? Ian Skinner. I'm like, what? Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what, what I've been doing in this year. Um, for, for sure, like for sure, it can't be making memes on Twitter. That can't be the reason why people are like, oh, I wanna, I wanna book Ian Skinner because he makes good memes. I want to know what I've been doing. Um, I feel that I finally caught on to it because I'm sure I talk, talked about it in the previous interview where I don't know what people like about me. <laughs> that's, that's, an, that's an entire thing where I, when people book Ian Skinner and they have an image in their mind, I don't know what they're thinking. I you usually have to ask. And, <laughs> and it can't be the fact that I'm kind of like a utility player in which I'm really good at whatever I do. I found it, I think, because someone put it in, uh, like it was a match review or something, and it was like, that I'm an emotive wrestler. And I'm like, I guess. I guess that's what helps, but surely everyone's an emotive wrestler. I don't know. Anyway, that's a side tangent of my, my, you know, my lapse in confidence. There's a a showman-esque to you which you then mix with uh, the fact that you are a fantastic wrestler. You actually have backgrounds in legitimate wrestling that you're able to bring to your matches, and uh, which a lot of other guys that they can't when they don't have that experience of what happens when you go into an armbar. They don't know what it's like. So unless they're <laughs> taught that uh, in a BJJ class or a proper wrestling class, it's, it's how to react when you're in those type of positions. And as I say, there's definitely a showman-esque quality to you. You know, we talked about the fact that you were on Britain's Got Talent at one point. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you, you have a bit of it. You had your improv as well, if I remember right. So uh, yeah, yeah, I can yeah, see how it's... that all works together. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what the secret sauce is at this point. But, you know, if people are enjoying it, I'll still make the secret sauce. That's my... That's my thing. I agree with you because I, I have no idea why people listen to me or believe that I have a good voice in wrestling. Weird. I'm just some bloke. I just make a podcast. <laughs> That's all I do. But, uh... You know what was wild? La- last year, around this time of year, I thought like Dan had like gone through like a radical change. And then he brought up that he was doing like like his like the Santa work. And I'm like, oh, jeez. <laughs> I thought... That was just like the wildest thing, just like tuning into the podcast on YouTube and just seeing like, well, Dan's looking a bit different. Is is the is the camera overexposed? Is it no? He that that's such a sick, sick side hustle. Imagine that. He uh yeah, he loves he loves doing his Santa work. I think he he said that this Christmas he's been booked for like twenty two different times to be Santa. And he's, yeah, uh, last episode, he's, he's got the grey beard. It's a shame he couldn't join us today. He had to do the scout run. <laughs> but he's got the grey beard going, and uh, it's it's great. And uh, having his background as a proper counsellor as well, when we've been talking about APPG recently, <laughs> no. and the you crap say... show that is wrestling. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were going to say, like, with his experience as Santa. Oh, yeah. men. No, but I mean, like, like he knows like, he's not in nice. Yeah, so... he knows he's sleeping. He knows he's awake. Exactly. He knows That's who's been bad or good. So keep it secret. Keep it safe. That's right. Lord of the Rings reference. Get it in. Saw it on Twitter earlier. Uh what are you watching at the moment? I just finished watching The Boys. Uh, oh. Season three. Oh, what a what a season! Yeah, I guess spoilers ahead. Um, I want Black Noir to come back. He had the most compelling oh, face yeah. turn. Yes. Um. Oh. Yeah. The boys is amazing. Um. Great show. Uh. I'm not watching anything because I've I've decided that you know this year I'm gonna like dedicate myself to improving myself. So now every you know time I'm not working or wrestling, I am going to be in the gym, I'm going to be training, I'm being match study, or watching memes on YouTube, because it's like short format, like mm-hmm. I can do like 10, 15 minutes, that's fine, and then sleep. Um, goddamn food, like food, not just food prep, but like actual like, fo- like focusing on eating four meals a day, and like counting your calories, 
I've, I've done it before, but like, it's a lot of mental, like, it feels like work, but you just got to get through it because if you want the results, you got to push through and like self-improvement, self-development, self-actualization. That's, that's what this year is going to be about this, this coming year, 2023. I know it's not, no, it's not the end of the year yet, but uh, I watched a lot of Archer as well. And I'm, and I've been doing a lot of these hands, uh, (laughs) Archer, the boys, um, Hocus Pocus two came out. That was sick. Um, it's not a TV show, but it was all right. I love what they've done with Archer. They've brought Archer back to being a spy show again, and it was those last two seasons have been absolutely epic. I'm such a fan of it. Dan's a big fan of Archer as well. So amazing. <laughs> well, obviously, I could I could tell that. Like, I think Archer's on my mind because we said three seasons earlier, and we. <laughs> Great. Uh, capit- that. Yeah, if you don't get it, go watch it. It's on Netflix, and then you'll get our references, and then yeah, we'll actually be funny, references. and you'll wonder why we're yeah. laughing at hey. ourselves. Hey, I, I, I bring up a lot of things that are only funny to me. My, my question, because this question wasn't around. Would you rather have unlimited bacon? But no video games or games, unlimited games, but no games. Oh, well, you see, my missus would love the unlimited games, but uh, I do love a bit of bacon, and I'm yeah. not, I'm not a huge gamer. I like some football games, and I love the, I used to love the WWEs. It was the only game I could win on because uh, I never played video games that much. So I always used to get beat on most games, apart from Tekken. Tekken was a different type of game, and I did kick ass on Tekken. But when I got wrestling, uh, the first WWE 2Ks and whatnot, and uh, I, I, I finally had a game I wanted to play. So I learned how to play it really, really well, and then I could beat everybody. And I was like, my one game that I can win. <laughs> So, uh, and I always used to love doing the uh, create character. Uh, um, is it? Is it the? Are you going with unlimited bacon or unlimited games, but no games? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna please the missus. I'm gonna give her unlimited games. Otherwise, she'll kill me. But, <laughs> but there's no games. There's no games. No okay. bacon. There's un- unlimited games, but no games. That's the. That's the trade off. Bacon. Unlimited bacon. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Unlimited bacon, no video games. That's fair. Oh, uh, just quickly. Shout out to Moxie Malone. His t shirt's amazing. It's a wolf with a third eye and teeth. And I believe she's selling them. It's, they're super cool. Love these t shirts. Moxie's sort of awesome as well. She's been kicking ass. She's really Incredible. come up with my CW and uh, stabbing her shirt herself. What do you think of the she's... changing landscapes of IC Dub? Leighton I mean, it's Buzzard. like it's. Well, I mean, Leighton Buzzard, and then like me and me and Charlie Vice, we're just we're going it ourselves. It's a it's the brotherhood, you know. We've been together. Yeah, you know, it's always it's always been us. It's never been about Thatcher. It's always been about the tag team. And yeah, it's time for a bit of change. Mo- yeah, Moxie Malone, she's one of my favorite wrestlers. Um, mainly because I watch her and I just see like a like a me look at a move set. It's very it's very Ian Skinner. So I, I respect it. Um, yeah, and Leighton Buzzard is champion. I mean, you, you, I knew that, you know, he was going to be a, a champion because the, the fight that he had with me in Newcastle, that was championship level. Um, mm. Like, I'm still climbing that ladder. I'm still trying to get up to that level. But being in there with someone at that championship level, um, it's, yeah, it was... Otherworldly, it was second to none. I highly recommend watching the match as well, especially if you like uh, seeing my chest get turned to burger meat. <laughs> One hell of a chop on him. Um, yeah, the landscape's very much very different. Uh, you know, Kez saying he's lost his smile. Um, <laughs> Andy, Andy Wild going a bit mental. Yeah, it's uh, it's it feels like series two, you know, or like you know. We're going into the next season and like, you know, the season finale happened at Fear and Loathing and now, ooh, 
everything's kind of like a bit different now and new characters and old faces and uh, at least you're not going to get called a Tory anymore. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad we've had our first show <laughs> since first taping since Fear and Loathing, and people cheered us and didn't chant anything about the Tories, which is one thing that I still hold a grudge for in Newcastle, right? By Newcastle, me and Charlie had already, like, resigned from the cabinet, and we're doing our own thing. But we still got the chance. Like, I I came out there just with Charlie Vice. They were still chanting the Tory chants, so I was just (laughs) like, oh, fuck you. Okay, (laughs) I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to do my own thing. Um, but yeah, landscape is very different. Very exciting future. Um, we'll, we'll see what's to come. I feel like the 2023 will be a very, very exciting year. Um, I don't, so it's is not, it the not tag got... team titles your goal? Or are you thinking zero G at some point, maybe? Uh, uh, here's the thing. Um, I think like setting goals like that, I'm just going to be happy with what comes as it comes. At this point, if you set if you set your standards too high, then and you don't achieve them, you're just gonna get upset with yourself. For this point, I feel like 2022, I feel like I was kind of like pushing myself to the edge, to the limits. Whereas like now, in regards to like my you know my you know mental faculties, kind of just take things as they come. Nothing's nothing's for certain. Um, you know, if I if I would turbulent year, it's been a good year. But it's been turbulent and there has been a lot of ups and downs and a lot of uh, mm-hmm. headaches at times. <laughs> so, it, uh, yeah, if 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 things were to like, you know, get to the end of the year and I was to call it a day, I wouldn't feel like I wasted it. I'd be maybe hmm. a bit, a bit, maybe a bit miffed that I've not won a single championship in any company that I've worked for. But to a certain degree, I feel like I'd like, you know, I'd at least done something in my time. Hmm. I mean, is there anyone, uh, any way you haven't worked yet that you really would like to stretch oh, your wings and be? Hundreds, hundreds of places. <laughs> like, that's it's like a never ending list. Uh, especially, uh, there's so many places in Europe, in Ireland. Uh, obviously, we like brought it up earlier. Fight Factory Pro, I was able to make my debut there. Um, you know, I want to go back to these places, um, like Fu- Future Shock Down South. As North, they've been absolutely popping off like mm. crazy. Um, I, there's, there's too many places in England enough to name within the micro bubbles of the micro bubbles of the micro bubbles, and that's just England in the micro bubbles as they are. Um, that's not even like discounting like Europe, uh, like Finland, FCF, like Pro Wrestling Holland, WXW, um, Rings of Europe, like. APC catch. Mm, um, like, here's cool. the thing I'm going to name so many places and then I'm going to like come back to this after it comes out. I'm going to be like, oh, why didn't I mention this place? <laughs> um, Rev Pro, you know, I, I've been able to like train down there uh, a couple times. Um, South London Wrestling, Purpose Wrestling. Yeah. Modern Nomad, like, hell yeah. New Wave. I'd love to get down and mix up with New Wave peeps. Uh, Chaos, for us and Chaos. Yeah, and and that's just kind of like on this on this side of the world, like you know, yeah, just like in Europe and the UK. Yeah, uh, like um, and if there's any companies who are watching this who I haven't mentioned, I for sure will probably want to wrestle for you as well because I just like wrestling. I like wrestling. I like wrestling with different people. And I like you know change not what's it exchanging cultural exchanges of theologies, philosophies, knowledge, and. Just having a good time. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to have a good time. I'd get get you in there with uh, Icarus from the Arrows of Hungary. Uh, that would be a very interesting yeah, matchup. Proper, proper sick. Yeah, Arrows are mental. If you got 15 minutes, actually, it's on WXW now. They just uploaded it. Endacara versus Alice Inc. And oh, it's just such a beautiful. Oh, I'm, I'm listen- oh, sh- bro, she's so good. She is. I, I, is, hey, is she good or is that just my affinity for people who kick? Like, yeah. someone broke it down for me. It's just like, oh, you just like people who kick. And I'm like, no. I like Kenta, Mike Bailey, Tommy End, Chris Ridgeway, 
Kevin Blackwood. <laughs> oh, and then it, like, it all just like unravels. Oh, you know what's crazy? I'm just, yeah. I met Alex Coughlin at bloody uh, a wrestle carnival. That was weird. That was strange. Dude's jacked. Juice huge. Jesus. Crazy. Yeah, he, he is absolutely. He, he's an animal. He's an android. An android. Mm. Him and Crazy. Gabriel Kidd, obviously, tagging over in New Japan right now. I haven't got the... Uh, I'm going to have to redo and check out how they've been when I... Uh, when Wrestle Kingdom comes around, I'm going to have to renew my subscription. And, yeah, I'm going to have to check out their tag matches and how they've gone on over this uh, World yes, Tag Team Festival. Sure. Ren Narita, Ishii. Mm. Oh, yeah. There's just... There's so much... Right, there's so much good in wrestling. And I think sometimes there's too much good because it's a lot to digest. Um... Spoil for yeah. choice sometimes over uh, sometimes wrestling oversaturated sometimes yes, a little bit yeah. but also you know wrestling it, resurgence good. wrestling yeah. resurgence god that, that'd be such a cool show um to actually like because they've got like the fun the fun ideas the, the, yeah very theater esque I can imagine you guys yeah. getting a really and really and, and, and with someone with a degree like oh man yeah it's incredible this is just like this is nonsensical without a point gushing just enjoying and like bathing in the love of wrestling um and i guess like i guess some listeners will be like okay you're just naming things at this point that's fine that's yeah like it's for real we just did we just get all the taglines in there so we can just tag everything <laughs> tag everyone yeah tag 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 okay um yeah wrestling it's 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 a beast. Mm. That's the best way to describe it. It's a beast. Once it's in you, you you, ca- you can't get it out. Um, but do you feel a... like you need to have a break every now and then? Oh, for sure, for sure. I'm definitely, I'm definitely giving myself a break uh, at some point in this coming year. Um, I fi- I feel that um, it is. I mean, I guess this is it's a candid kind of thing. The world is very different than it is, like. Pre-pandemic was post-pandemic. Right now, I feel for people who are trainees or at least in that trainee kind of level because I don't think there's enough places for people to showcase themselves or to get those opening entry opportunities to build up the credibility that I that I was luckily enough around to afford for. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of people who are thrown in the deep end in their first opportunities. And it's kind of like, you know, that's kind of sink or swim. You know, people making their debuts on ICW Fight Club tape and that goes out on the WWE Network. That's mm. crazy. Um, like the arcade violence who we've just had like a match with, like they, they did incredible. And I cannot wait to watch that match back. But like people like Judas Gray, uh, like Rob Stone making their debuts on Wrestle Carnival. You know, like it, it's it, it's wild, and I feel for all the people who are like you know trying to break in, trying to get experience right now. Um, and I I would hope if there's anything that ca- I kind of like leave on wrestling is I want to leave it a better place for the next generation or the next group of people to come up. Mm. Um, because because I, I feel that that's kind of like something that's that that's like needed. Um, I guess, yeah, yeah. I guess uh, somber. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, th- there can only be so many big promotions, and I think that's always going to be the issue when progress for a pro UK, ICW, OCT over in Ireland have got a, a a good grip on wrestling as a whole in the UK, and then you've got sort of like the levels go down, sort of like from there. <laughs> and the publicity and who's going to put money into. But when you've got Repro UK in progress, they're offering free shows a week, um, a month, and it's on yeah. their demand service. The six ninety nine a month, that's a really good deal compared to, say, four ninety nine a month for one show a month. And you can understand why, it, I guess, there is... Like, it can only... In WWE, there can only be one top guy, and in wrestling, sometimes there can only be a few top promotions. Yep, it's it's a, it's a wild landscape, and uh, there's nothing that I'm gonna really do to kind of like be able to change anything like that until until I 
you know, start running that Ian's going to big birthday bash Bonanza once a year in a weird theatre um, with some, like, high production. But uh, until then, I guess we just kind of, like, we coast along and just try and enjoy what we have. Um, Keep making your name yeah. in ICW, growing every day, every match. Yep. Earning and your way. To... And, uh, yeah. You know, you had a tech tech kill shot. Yeah. But that was like one tag team championship match against like the, the nine nine nine. Yeah. Awesome but, tag yeah, team. I've, yeah, it, feel, it feels like like for, like divers tag team specialist Jack Morris like like world class talent like yeah. He's gonna it's, go. It's been he's... it's been a it's been a weird year. It, it has. And, it, I, and, it, has. and it'll, be in, it'll be it'll be. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, there's again, there's been up downs, there's been roller coasters. Um, but overall, I feel like I've enjoyed the time. I've like, <laughs> I enjoyed the time that I enjoyed. The time that I didn't enjoy, I guess, like it's a, it's blown over because like it's that it's a comparison. Mm. You enjoy the times that you enjoy far greater than you dislike the times you don't like. That kind of thing. But I guess there's got to be equal balance to everything. You can't just like... You, it's not like fast food. Yeah. You can't just streamline everything. But I'm just excited for what the future holds. Absolutely. I mean, you have had a great year. I think next year, I, I assume, should be just as good, if not better. Uh, and uh, I, I can see you getting out there more and more different promotions and that's going to be great to see but also just keeping your mark in icw because you know great promotion they're doing <laughs> huge shows their, their paper that last show was absolutely rampacked but uh, do you know what was the uh, count of the uh bodies in the building oh <laughs> is that like the amount of times that people ask me for like numbers i'm like i, I don't know i ne- i never look at numbers because to be fair i'm just like do i have people in the audience are they having a good time that's all that matters to me. Absolutely. <laughs> Give us your socials so that people can go follow you. And let people know where you can buy your merch. Yeah, at Ian Skinner, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Twitter, Hive, if you like that. Um, I downloaded it. It's kind of fun. Um, I Twitch every now and then, maybe. We'll see. Um, I watch memes, and that's kind of funny. Uh, big cartel Ian Skinner. You'll see it linked in my kind of like my link tree. Um, yeah, in, enjoy wrestling. You know, I guess that's why you're listening to this. And if you've listened this far through the nonsensical rambling, without tangents, without points, without through the gushing, and you're kind of like just enjoying yourselves. Hey, diet coke for you, my friends. Um, yeah, I can't give I- you it, but it's 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 like a ba- it's like a badge in Call of Duty. You've earned the Diet Coke badge. I'm not going to give you the Diet Coke badge, but you have earned it. You see, I, I realised from last time, you, you don't need to prep for an Ian Skinner interview. You just need to throw a few tangents out there. He's going <laughs> to go for them. And uh, <laughs> it has been so great to have you but, back on the show because you, you've always been a you. big support for us. And as I say, uh, it's always been very, very much appreciated. Every little like and tweet, uh, any message here. It's always nice to get a, 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 a with with certain talents. It's always good to have a good relationship with them. So uh, thank you, big up to you. I, uh, so I really appreciate him. Another little one. Next time I I'm, I come on because it will happen. I guess in a couple of years time. Oh, yeah. I'll next, still be no, going. next year we're gonna do one year in now. It's gonna yeah. have to be done and, every year. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. The the conversation won't change. It will still be me going. Wow, that's crazy, huh? Whoa. <laughs> Um, but next year I will ask the questions. I will come with questions. Um, and yeah, I will, I will dictate the interview. I do this with Scottish wrestling network. We, we don't do a Scottish wrestling podcast with Scottish wrestling network. We do Ian Skinner goes a bit mental and we just have a chat. And I feel like that should set up just kind of like just any, any podcast I do. I don't like the usual questions. I, to this point, as well, I, I am very happy. Uh, this is a rant. I'm, you were closing out the show. I'm going to rant now. Yeah, I, go. I People who don't do research when inviting me onto a podcast, but people just go, oh, well, you know, have you faced this person? 
look it up. Look it up. <laughs> like, I, it's not as if my content that I put out online is limited and boring. Just engage with, like, one little thing or just, like, you know, tap... Like ask uh, ask me a question that isn't hey can you speak for twenty minutes while I sit down that'll happen anyway but <laughs> I would prefer if I actually had a jumping off point rather than hey yeah. so you know what what influenced your style a lot of things mate sorry um but yeah uh, thank you if, thank you for you know, coming what to influences the a style <laughs> when yeah you thank you in. for coming to the table with with Pereira Roche. For me to take and go, mm, 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 oh, I really like that. <sighs> Sorry, uh, thank you. It, you'd be so easy to follow on Twitter, but yeah, I, I get what you're saying because I had Michelle Green on the other day. Uh, she's an absolute phenomenal Swiss talent uh, who's been kicking off. She's done OVW and so forth. And uh, I, I didn't know that much. I've seen her a couple of times. So what did I do? I, I listened to like two or three podcasts you've been on previously and I, I, I knew stuff about her and I could give her you jumping go. points and with yourself it's easy because uh, it's you know the, the promotions you've been working for are the promotions I follow and that's so it's easy yeah. enough to be done uh, and but, I yeah. also I, I crack open my head and let my brain spill out onto Twitter so it's very it's very easy to get a glimpse of like okay this is the Ian Skinner vibe and the Ian Skinner vibe is raccoon eating pizza out of a dumpster, smoking from a. Uh, I don't want to go down the road, the route of paraphernalia. So smoking <laughs> uh, a, 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 a a ham, a ham, a ham. A ham. He's smoking ham. Yeah, he's eating pizza, but he's smoking a ham at the same time. That's right. Mark Zuckerberg smoking meats. We've been tea and tights. That's two sugars from me, Dan. Um. Uh, Support the channel, support independent wrestling, support British wrestling, support European wrestling, just support wrestling. And remember, bodyslam.net. Don't yeah, feed the trolls. Bodyslam.net, T and Tights, YouTube, love wrestling, hate racism, T and Tights pod. Yeah, it's up there. Um, that was a t shirt. Uh, <laughs> that's in the background for the audio listeners who are very confused. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's do this next year. Come back on. Have a good one. See you later, folks.